Hello, fellas and ladies. I'm doing something a little different now that the tip figures are wrapped up and I'm not going to be doing any reviews until like next week with Venom and Real Pain. I want to talk about a movie that's been kind of discussed a lot recently in the Oscars world, and that's The Substance. I have a review for this up on the channel if you want to hear my whole thoughts, but long story short, I loved it. Since that video is released, it's, you know, it's come out and it's grown. It's made $25 million at the time of recording and audiences have grabbed onto it. I've personally seen it three more times and I still love it. On its first weekend, some people began to get excited about it being an Oscar player and that, it, that seemingly died down after its first weekend ended. However, recently, my good friend Matt Neglia at Next Best Picture attended an FYC Ampus screening for the movie that Demi Moore attended and did a Q&A for. And it reportedly went really well with only one walkout. It was also reported that a SAG screening took place earlier in the day that also went really well. So excitement and optimism has started to come up again. So I wanted to chime in on my thoughts on the whole shebang and say, you know, Maybe. <laughs> I think we all know that it has an uphill battle. We all know what we're dealing with here. Because I, I, I don't think it's just purely a pipe dream. I do think there is something to this idea. Obviously, we now have evidence that, you know, Ampus, to at least some extent, is going, is, you know, grabbing onto it. I feel like at the time of recording, most people will agree that makeup and hair is not only on the table, but even possible winning. Body horror, if n for nothing else, you know, has a solid track record in this category. Obviously, the Fly one, for example. And this movie does have prosthetic work that's going to be pretty hard to deny. And honest to God, even right now, I, I do not have the substance in Best Picture. I, I can't really justify it right now. But for some reason, my brain is letting me, like, take Demi more really seriously. She has the narrative. She has... I would say she, has, she does enough with the performance. It's obviously a very physically taxing performance but also a really hard performance to pull off on an emotional standpoint she has her moments like that can easily gravitate towards the academy there are going to be the inevitable like oh but what about tony collette for hereditary what about lupita nyong'o for us and yeah those are also horror performances that missed but i feel like it's also still a little apples to oranges now we're talking about a overdue narrative here with demi moore where it's like all right getting your nomination is very compelling, her first nomination, whereas Tony Collette was a previous nominee for a movie that is, like, really hard to get behind. And then Lupita Nyong'o was a previous winner. Like, Hereditary is not the substance. Hereditary is critically acclaimed, yes, but also, like, let's not forget what we're asking from audiences with that movie. Us is a lot more mainstream, like, even more mainstream than the substance. You can also even argue that that was, like, what stopped Lupita Nyong'o. I do think the substance is in that sweet spot of, like, yeah, it's a. I would say it's a mainstream movie. I think I don't really see why audiences would just like it. Clearly, audiences are into it. It's making money, and also it is. It does have that like prestige to it. Like obviously, it's got some awards. Like it's been going to film festivals. I think it is being treated like a prestige awards film, even if it doesn't actually get it. That's why my head's able to wrap the idea of Demi Moore getting nominated. I don't know. There is something compelling about it. Am I going to do it? I'm not there yet, per se, but I do wonder how she can do with the precursors and with Critic Awards. I think she'll get the Globe nom, at least. I think Critic's Choice needs to do it. I think SAG needs to do it. I think, like, I think she needs to get all four for me to, like, safely predict Demi more. So, quick update. Since I uh, recorded this video, I have actually changed my mind a little bit, and I've actually fully put Demi more in my five. I'll go more into it when I do my prediction videos in like a couple weeks. But I frankly, I just think that the goodwill to uh, Demi Moore is gonna be too strong. And with that, I think all four major precursors could easily, easily go for her. I think critics will give her a boost. I think I, it just makes sense to me and I'm gonna take the risk. My other thoughts on the substance hasn't really changed. So the rest of the video is not hearsay. And it, let's just for the sake of argument say, all right, the substance is nominated for Best Picture. Let's just, for the sake of argument, what does it go from there? I think you would safely say makeup and hair is locked in and with a win. To me, more would safely be in there. I think original screenplay would absolutely get nominated. Tech-wise, I do think um, cinematography could come with it. Product design definitely would. Sound definitely would. The case for editing, although that could be a stretch. It's like a good enough haul. And then you can also throw in Corlai Fargiot for director. Then there's something there with her. A lot of us are struggling to find a woman in this very male-dominated, like, category. And granted, you know, if we're going to predict someone just for the sake of predicting a woman, maybe, you know, that's not the best idea. They have shown that they'll snub, they'll go all male if there's not, a, like, a 
you know, an option that's very obvious to them. But maybe Cool Life Project could be that easy option. I another thing that people are kind of trying to find alternates to Jacques Audier for being like the international director slot. Again, that could be Cool Life Project. Although perhaps it is a little too genre-y, but it does have very international like sensibility. So I think it could get away with that if it's in picture. I do think Cool Life Project would likely come with uh, a best picture nominee. I would say. But let's just not beat around the bush. This is a body horror movie. A very in your face genre frenzy movie that's not idealistic when it comes to the academy's sensibilities the movie throws a lot of shit at you especially towards the end a lot of gore a lot of gross shit that could easily put off ampus and you know you don't have to look that far to see some people who are a little underwhelmed by it the word on the nose has showed up a lot of times i do think a pro that this movie has in terms of being an oscars thing is of course the fact that um it's a message is easy to grab onto it's easy to tell what it's you know, saying, and it's also easy to gravitate towards it. It's also easy, potentially, to a fault. Some people have, almost rightfully so, called that out. That's another thing we have to point out, but at the same time, I do need, the question has to be asked, if this, like, take genre away. Just isolate the fact that this is a genre film, like a body horror movie. Why wouldn't this get nominated for Best Picture? Because when you take the, that away, what you are left with is a critically acclaimed film, a a festival darling a movie with international sensibilities a lead actress with a great narrative to get her first nomination and a very relevant message that could really resonate with a lot of people in the industry this is a movie with a lot of passion there are definitely going to be a lot of people who say that the substance is their favorite movie of 2024 that cannot be ignored that said either can the genre so I kind of can't answer the question, will the substance be nominated for Best Picture? Because I don't fucking know. But what I can answer is, is it fair to have optimism? I kind of think, yeah, it is fair to have optimism. At this point in time, I am not putting this anywhere past the top 15. I think I have in the back half of my top 20 still. These Ampest screenings, if they continue to go well, I could you know, keep going up. Obviously, this movie has the word of mouth. It has the buzz that it's pretty safe to say that it's going to be seen by a lot of voters even enough voters it's just kind of comes a question of will they be able to handle it so if you hear the question can the substance be nominated for best picture and your instinctive answer is absolutely not never in a million years i feel like you're not paying attention you're kind of purposefully kind of putting out blindfolds but at the same time i also think if you're just looking at what happened yesterday with the um ampa screenings and just rushing to put it in the picture i think that's also a bad call i think this movie is in a good position right now but the uphill battle is very obvious but i i don't think the chances are zero in fact i will even say the chances aren't even 20 percent. i think it's higher than that so here's hoping i'll i am optimistic even if i'm still gonna keep it out just to protect my own feelings all right that is that comment down below what do you do you think the substance is getting on best picture i don't know i'm not gonna read them like subscribe and share Bye bye